Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie, and welcome to this episode of a CD Junkie, where I'm going to try to tell you about a band by the name of the Daruti Column. Why try? Well, because for the last year I've been prepping this video, and I put my stack of Daruti Column CDs aside, and I put them all in order and realize, oh, I'm missing that one. So I go through other stacks of CDs, find it, put it on the stack, and then I figure I'm going to make this uh, video tomorrow. So the next day I go and I realize I'm missing a different CD. So I'll go and I'll eventually find that and then I realize I'm missing it. let's just say I'm missing two CDs they're somewhere in the stacks over here so this isn't complete but I don't even have a complete catalog there's so many different other issues and and you know things on different labels and stuff but I'm going to try to explain this band and just show you their catalog real quick I'm not going to go in depth because there's so many titles but let me tell you something about the Jurity column they are the only band in existence that the sound of the band and the mood of the band is dictated by the mood of the listener. So you could grab uh, a Jerudy Column album or pull your favorite Jerudy Column song. And if you're feeling sad, you know, a little down and dreary, you throw that song on and that song matches your mood. It, it sounds dreary and it sounds sad. But if you're feeling upbeat and happy and, and, and things are going right in your life, you throw on that same song, guess what? That song sounds happy, upbeat, and joyful. It's the strangest thing. It always happens to me with the Daruti Column, whereas the, their music is so hard to describe. So you're lucky because at the end of this video, I've got like about a three-minute medley showing you just little tiny bits and pieces of about six or seven Daruti Column songs, so you can get an idea. Daruti Column is basically Vinnie Riley uh, on guitar and most instruments, uh, Bruce Mitchell on drums, and then he has other people come in. It's chiefly instrumental, very moody. Uh, some people used to call it New Age, far from New Age. Some people call it post-punk. It's post-punk New Age. Let's just put it that way. It's so different, so wonderful. A lot of you people already know Daruti Column, well, maybe uh, indirectly, because Vinnie Riley, the main guy the guitar player he is the gentleman who played guitar on morrissey's debut solo album you know the one with suede head and uh, every day's like sunday and of course there's debate on who wrote the songs uh, some say vinnie riley wrote the music and some say morrissey or stephen street or whoever wrote the music it doesn't matter the fact is that his guitar is there and uh so that's probably where some of you already know his name but let's go into the catalog uh he's from manchester on the legendary factory record Records label. I'm a huge fan. I'm just going to go through titles. Uh, the Return of the Druidy Column. This is the most update version, I believe, with some bonus material. This came out in 1980. Uh, LC was the next album. Came out in 1981, and this is an expanded edition. So there are several editions of these that you can find out there. Single disc editions, double disc editions. This one is another setting. I'm not sure if there's a newer version than this, but this came out in 1983. Uh, there's an album called uh, Amigos M Portugal. This has some great, wonderful tracks on it, and that came out in 1983 as well. Next studio album came out in 1984, and that's called Without Mercy. Here is an expanded four CD version of that. Can you believe that? Four CDs right there. I know that I don't normally have live albums, but Doma Arigato uh, is a Daruti Column album, but the reason I have this is because it has a couple studio tracks on it that I don't have elsewhere. But again, Daruti Column. Very hard to describe. Just hold on a few more moments and you will be able to hear some of the music. It is really quite lovely and beautiful. Um, and here is the album Circuses and Bread from 1986. This is the expanded edition. And the funny thing about this is they keep getting expanded and, and I may not even have the most up-to-date version. Here is uh, Guitars and Other Machines. This is when they maybe started sounding a little bit more commercial for maybe American audiences, maybe people who are into more sophisticated uh, and thought-provoking music. And there's three CDs there. The album from 1989 called Vinnie Riley is probably their most well-known album. This has a song called Otis that was actually used on a TV commercial here in the U.S. about 20 years ago. And uh, But seriously, these things are wonderful. They're fascinating. Obey the Time came out in 1990. And this is getting a little housey, you know, a little Manchester house beat and stuff. And this is the expanded edition. So wonderful. One thing I didn't mention earlier is because this started happening 
happening more and more frequently as uh, uh, time went on. But they started adding a lot more vocals into the mix. So sometimes it's a sampled vocal. When Vinny decides to sing, thankfully it's sort of mixed down in the mix. He's he he's he wants to express himself that way. He's not that great of a vocalist. A lot of times he brings in a female vocalist, and it works perfectly for the music. 1994, Sex and Death. This is an expanded two CD edition, and this is more. Uh, keyboard oriented uh speaking of keyboard oriented the album fidelity even though he's pictured there with a, a guitar this is one of those albums where sometimes it's kind of hard to find the guitar because he's you know messing around with keyboard sounds and modern technology a lot of great melodies and stuff he is not a conventional artist he does things his way when you listen to a Daruti Kalam album he's always surprising you in in with new and inventive sounds but he's still very much Vinnie Riley and Daruti Kalam now here is an album that came out in 1998 called Time Was Gigantic When We Were Kids. 2001 came the album Rebellion. 2003 came Someone Else's Party. 2004 came Tempest Fugit. 2006 came Keep Breathing. Idiot Savants came out in 2007. Soundtrack to uh, Treatise on the Steppenwolf. Sunlight to Blue, Blue to Blackness came out in 2008. One of the albums that's lost in one of those stacks over there is Love in the Time of Recession, which came out in 2009. In 2010, he released A Pain to Wilson, which is his tribute to uh, Anthony Wilson, Tony Wilson, uh, who started Factory Records, a legendary figure who believed in... Uh, Vinnie Riley and his uh, music and who unfortunately passed away. Short Stories for Pauline came out in 2012. Another CD I'm missing that's over there somewhere is uh, Chronicle XL, which is a two CD uh, release. It's like a red box. Uh, and for studio releases, that's what I have. Now, he has many different compilations. out. They're always filled with something wonderful, something unique. Now, here is a two CD compilation, which is um, Sporadic Recordings, Volume 1 and 2. And then here is Sporadic 3. And these are all like outtakes, unreleased tracks. That is it for my Daruti Column collection. I'm sorry I didn't get deeper into the band because now I want to present to you uh, some music so you can hear what they sound like. They're a band that's hard to describe, but so easy to embrace and so easy to become addicted to that you start searching out everything you possibly can. Now sit back and enjoy just short little snippets of some of my favorite uh, Daruti Column songs. <laughs> Thank you. 
I appreciate you sitting around and allowing me to talk about the Derudi column. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.